Hi friends, welcome to Sada Learning Hub. You are with me, Sada Shura. Today's session, we are going to learn the top most Savalet interview questions. Now, I am going to discuss about the first top 10 Savalet interview questions commonly asked by the interviewers. The first question is, what are the important functions of filters? What are the important function? What are the important functions of the filters? These are the some important functions of the filters. The first one is a security check, and the second one is modifying the request or resources, and third one is the data compressions, and fourth one is the logging and audience auditing, and fifth one is the response comp compression. These are the commonly used functions by using the filters. The next question is what is the functions of servlet container? The servlet containers do the lifecycle management and the communication support and the multi-threading support and the declaration declarative security and the JSP supports. These are these are the functions done by the servlet container lifecycle management and the communication support and the multi-threading support declarative security and the JSP support. Here lifecycle management means uh, we can init the servlet and uh, in, uh, init the uh, initiate the servlet and uh, create uh, call the service methods and uh, destroy the servlet and all those things take care by the servlet container and the communication support means if you uh, if you raise the request to if you raise a one request that request is uh, hit on the uh, container servlet container after that the servlet containers take the request and uh, checks where is uh, which uh, which application we need to route, we can route that particular application. That is the communication support. Multi-threading support. The multi-threading supports means in our, uh, it's a multiple threads at a time we can access to a servlet container. Now, declarative security. We can provide a security uh, in different ways. The maybe HTTP authentication or maybe HTTP basics or HTTP digest. We, we can provide the different uh, levels of security. And it, it is also provide a JSP support means Java server pages support. The next question is, what is the difference between JSP and a servlet? A JSP supports the HTTP protocols which manually uses to presentation but a servlet can support only the protocols like HTTP, FTP and SMTP etc. See here, a JSP is a protocol depends it can be handled only HTTP and HTTPS protocols. But servlet protocols is independent it can be handles any type of protocols that is FTP and HTTP. In the JSP time to time taken to generate the response for a first request is more if it coming to the servlets it time taken to generate the response for the first request is less in the jsp business logic is kept separate from the presentation logic in the servlets business logic tightly coupled with the presentation logic it is coming to the jsp jsp is a scripting language which can we generates a dynamic response and coming to the servlets servlets is a java program which can generates the dynamic response and the jsp is a easier to code and the jsp than the servlets servlets is a little much code to write a servlets than jsp JSP is a mvc jsp acts as a view but servlet is a servlet is an MVC servlets acts as a controller. JSP implicit objects is available in the JSP like request, response, session like that. In the servlets, there is no implicit objects are available. We have to create it if you want the objects. The next question is what, what are all the ways of session tracking? How many ways we can do the session tracking? There are the four difference uh, different ways we can do the session tracking in the servlets the first one is session tracking with the cookies we can use the cookies we can do with the session tracking the second one is session tracking with the hidden fields we can use the hidden fields uh, like in the in our uh, html contains an input type is equal to hidden we can use that hidden fields we can send the cookies into the server side we can do it uh, in the server side we can um, do it manually and the session tracking with the http session we can use the http session uh, to manage your session tracking and the fourth one is session tracking with the url rewriting 
these are the four uh, four ways to do the session tracking the next question is what is called scriptlet what is called scriptlet a scriptlet contains any language statement variables expressions that can be valid in the page scripting languages scriptlet in the part of generated serverlet service methods next um, question is what is the difference between server and container a server can provide a services to the client and it contains one or more containers such as the ezp serverlets jsp containers containers holds a set of objects see here the server can provide a services to the clients a server can provide services to the clients but the container is the container is one or more containers uh, a server uh, provides a services to the clients and it contains one or more containers such as ezp servlets jsp containers containers holds a set of objects next question is can we refresh the servlets in the client and the server side automatically yes it's possible if you want to refresh the page in the client side we can use the h metadata with the http we can use the metadata http it can use it to refresh in the client side pages if you want to refresh in the server side just we can use the server push to use the server side refresh the next question is what is the pure servlet what is the pure servlet a pure servlet is a servlet which is used to create a java object that can be implemented from the java x dot servlet dot servlet interface see here a pure servlet means a server a pure servlet is a servlet which is uh, which is used to create a java object that can be implemented from java x dot servlet dot servlet interface the next question is what is the difference between servlet and applet a servlet is used for server side configurations and it, it is keep in keep on the keeps on the server but an applet you, applets are used for the client side coding and it is uh, runs on the client browsers see here the server is run at uh, server side and the applets run at the client sides the next question is what is the string tokenizer what is the string tokenizer a string tokenizer is used to break the string into the tokens and the tokens values is passed to an argument in the in the constructor that is called a string tokenizer a string tokenizer is used to break the string into the tokens and the tokens values is passed as an arguments to the constructor that is called string tokenizer thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you Keep watching our lessons. Keep writing to us. Do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many session that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.